So hi everybody and um, welcome to juniperlab.info So this video is about um, how to install VMware Workstation 14 on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed kernel uh, 4.14 and um, you know uh, the installation of uh, VMware on OpenSUSE is not straightforward task and um, you will be able to see why so um, we know that um, VMware officially uh, doesn't support uh, OpenSUSE and I don't know why and um, every time when your operating system is updating I mean kernel, kernel headers, GCC version or whatever it breaks VMware completely So I got a fresh OpenSUSE Tumbleweed installation here and um, I will try to install VMware Workstation 14. So um, first of all um, let's check our um, kernel information. So. As you see, I have a 4.14 um, kernel version, and um, we also need to install the kernel headers as well a little bit later. But now I'm just gonna try to install um, VMware Workstation in a straight way and here we go copy and paste here so as you see um We have the first issue here. User interface initialization failed. Mm. So to fix um, this issue, I'm going to install and curses package with uh, Yast as the easiest easiest method. So what we need here is the um, Liban Curses 5 package. This is it. So I'm gonna click accept and install the package. The text size. I'll make a little bit bigger. Okay, and that installation successfully finished, and I press finish here. So um, let's try let's try um to start VMware once again. And as you see. Uh, now it's okay. 
This is the license agreement. Okay, press yes. Again, we're gonna press yes here. No, we don't wanna check product updates. And all other options will be by by default. Okay, installation was successful and now I'm gonna try to start it once again. VMware. Okay. So we have another error uh, and our oh, headache still continues. Now it's complaining on GCC version. Well, GCC version 7.2.1 wasn't found. Oh. So uh, let's check what about GCC version installed our system. So GCC version. Okay, there is no GCC version, and um, I suppose we need to install this as well. Okay, again with Yast. And just type uh, GCC here. Search ups. Yeah, this is a GCC version 7, 2.6. Okay, we're gonna click accept here and press continue. Of course, you can install the GCC uh, manually with a command line, but with Yast it's much easier. Okay, press finish. <clears throat> and again, let's start being aware. So now we have another error error with uh, kernel headers 4.14.2. 4 default were not found and uh, at this point we need to install the kernel headers so let's do it kernel headers uh, sudo super install kernel desktop desktop um, Devil. Press yes. So the kernel devil is also version four point fourteen. It's okay.
All right, now uh, let's start the way once again. Just to check if the problem has been fixed. Oops. Before you can run a VMware, several modules must be compiled and loaded into the running kernel. Okay, let's press install. The password. And nope. The problem hasn't fixed it. Because unable to start services. So at this point, uh, we have to apply the patch, the patch on to fix the kernel headers. Actually, uh, mainly we have the issue with a uh, VMore module, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna patch this module, and I'll show you how to do this. So, <clears throat> of course, you can uh, if you type uh, sudo etc. in it dot d um, vmware restart uh, you see that we have uh, virtual machine monitor failed this is um, exactly the vmon module problem so uh, let's patch it and uh, Will be TMP directory, and I'm gonna copy um, VM modules to some other location. In my case, um, it will be um, the TMP. So, uh, VMware modules. This is a location for VMware modules in USR leap. Uh, source, and we need here VMontar module. So let's um, copy that. All right, and now I'm gonna. Unarchive this this content of the Montar file. Will be xf vmontar. All right. So let's remove the archive file. Oh, sorry. And now we're gonna download the patch itself. So I have a file here, actually. Um, the file to download the patch from a git from a GitHub here. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the full text version of patching VMware will be available on uh, JuniperLab.info website. So check it out. Okay, uh, now we're gonna move move host ipc file, host ipc file. Vmon only will be uh, Linux host fc host f dot c. Okay. Again, we should um, create uh, archive archive for modify for modify the module. So it will be a 
tar cf. We want tar actually. Oh. We want only. Uh, then we should remove the all file. Only and we're gonna move the newly created Vimon archive Vimon.tar to the card location in US early VMware modules. Let's do it. Sir, leap um, VMware modules modules will be source Vimontar. All right, and uh, now we need to compile the um, VMware itself. Will be like uh, VMware mod config uh, console in install should be uh, and all. And as you see, uh, we have your line starting VMware services and our virtual machine monitor. Done virtual Ethernet done. VMware authentication daemon is OK and shared memory available also OK. So now uh, we should be able to, to run VMware Workstation 14 professional version on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. So uh, let's test it. Okay, all right. Now uh, I want to try VMware for 30 days, press OK. Now I should enter my password to proceed. Here we go. And this is uh, our VMware 14 Pro professional version on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. So thank you guys for watching and uh, see you later. Bye bye.